Hello everyone, my name is Sunil Yoshi and I will be giving you a walkthrough of the new IM changes in OCI console. In the left hand side, I will log into the OCI console, which does not have the new IM changes. And in the right side, I log in into the console, which has new changes. Let's access the old console first on the left. So we have two ways to log in either using the federation. So OCI tenancy comes with auto federated with the Oracle Identity Cloud service, or we can log, log in with the local user name and password in IAM. Let's access the new console. Now in the new console, we see a domain picker. So domain is a resource in Oracle Cloud infrastructure and is also a container for user groups, dynamic groups and other configuration. To know more on domain, please watch the introduction to domain video, uh, which is link is in description of this video. Each OCI tenancy comes with a default domain. So let's log into the default domain. If we compare the old login experience with the new one, we see that we have only one way to log in using one identity, wherein in the left side, we see there is a, a multiple ways to log in using either federation or login login. So we have simplified this and we have merged these two system, identity cloud service and IAM, so that we can have a simple way to log in. Now let's log into these systems. Go to the identity and security. So I click on the hamburger menu and I click on the identity security. Now same with the new console, I click on identity and security. Now, if you notice in the left side, uh, you see user groups, dynamic groups, network sources, federation and authentication. While in the new changes, all these uh, resources like user groups, dynamic groups, federation and other configuration are moved under domain. Now to navigate to domain, you can click on domain here or you can directly go to the domain that you are logged in by from the profile. Now these user groups, dynamic groups are moved under domain, which we are residing here in the left side, which you see. Now we also see the other uh, configuration like applications, security settings. Now, what are all these uh, new configurations or objects? So these new configurations are moved from the identity cloud service admin console so that you can manage all, uh, all these um, resources from one console. Now to see this, uh, we go to the left, old console in the federation. The, this OCI console is federated with Oracle Cloud Service. And then we go to the admin console of Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Now, if you notice here in the left side, these applications, jobs, reports, settings, security, all these are now moved in, into the new, uh, I am console under domains. And you can set up uh, your IDP policies, your federations to third party application from here. Now let's see what's changed from the self-service perspective. So in the left side, if I go to the self-service in Identity Cloud Service, and if I go to my profile, 
Now all these change my password, security, my access, my request, all these are now moved under the OCI console microfile. So uh, if I go to security, I can see all my security related configuration here and all my, my access token, my request, my consents, all are here. Now, only one thing that is, that, uh, is being retained from the IDCS uh, is the My Apps section, which is a My Console, so that the end user can access the application from the My Apps portal. So to navigate to the My Apps uh, in the new console, you go to uh, More Accents under Profile, and then you click on the Application Launcher. So it will launch you the My Console. So these all are the new IAM changes in OCI Console, starting from new easy login experience and managing the users group, dynamic groups, and other settings like adaptive security, identity providers from one console. Thank you, everyone.